So how do you get involved with the Rise Above benefit for the West Memphis 3? First off, don't mind me chewing on this nut or butter, but... Yes, blatant advertising. Henry was putting together the Rise Above CD. The band was getting ready to record all the music. And I was the first guy that he called. He said, you know, we've got to have Keith Morris on it. It wouldn't be a black flag record without Keith. So he called me and I said, of course. Um, he explained what the situation was with the three guys that were in prison. He sent me a, a copy of both of the HBO documentaries. And, you know, when, when he first called me and he explained what the situation was, that Henry is, and I know how passionate he is, and when he gets behind something, it's 100%, it's full bore. And I, I, I realized that he wouldn't just jump on any cause. So I knew that this was something that I needed to be a part of. So I was in, I made some, some more suggestions as to uh, who would be some great vocalists to perform on the CD. Uh, I had suggested uh, the guys from Rancid. I had also suggested the guys from Queens of the Stone Age. I suggested Ryan Adams, whose uh, song is, he performs Nervous Breakdown, which is the last song on the CD, which when you listen to it, you're just, it doesn't really fit in, but that's the beauty of his song. And I knew that he was a huge Black Flag and Circle Jerks fan and that he would do it immediately. Henry presented me with the opportunity to come out on this tour to raise more money for the West Memphis Three. What an important cause that is. And that, you know, those boys were railroaded and convicted falsely of murdering three young boys and they had absolutely nothing to do with it. And we can just not allow this kind of justice to happen in this country. We pride ourselves on our judicial system and what a great judicial system we have. Yes, occasionally cases slide through the cracks and there are innocent people in prison, there are innocent people in jail, there are innocent people on death row. But this is one case that I wholeheartedly, after having viewed the documentaries, know full well that those guys had absolutely nothing to do with the ritual, ritualistic murder of the, the three young boys. That's the reason why I'm here. Plus it gives me the opportunity to sing Black Flag songs. I was the original vocalist in Black Flag. Some of these songs I hadn't even gone nowhere near, I hadn't even listened to in 15, 20 years. These shows that you guys have been doing on this tour recently, have you seen any like classic Black Flag violence in any of the gigs? No violence. No violence? No, people have grown up. People are a little bit more aware. I believe that the, the audience has gotten a bit more intelligent. I mean, it's, it's, you know, people can jump around, people can get loose, people can throw themselves at each other. We, we know to expect that. There's been no skin, there's no sign of any kind of skinhead bullshit. And the, any violence that's, that's occurred has been so minimal that it's almost been not even been a blip on the radar which is a beautiful thing because we're here to have a good time we're here to raise people's awareness and let them know that you know there's some stuff going on that's not cool and if, if people want to get violent they, they they can join the military and go like blow up and kill people somewhere else we don't need that here. Great. Okay. Um, before we go, 
I guess, do you have any other message uh, to people who would like to know more about the situation with the West Memphis 3? Well, they can get on the website, which is www.wm3.org. Very cool thing you guys are doing, man. Very, very fucking cool thing.